Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. I think somebody's trying to glitch out a car that's down there. He is. Okay. So let's go ahead and blacklist him. Goodbye, dude. Gone. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> right off the bat, in the video, somebody's starting to do things. I see him. I see him. Come on. Can't, can't get around him. Ugh. There we go. There you go. He won't bug us again. Is this, uh, is this one? Yep, I, I can't control that one. Somebody's gonna move that one. There we go. Okay, so, good evening everyone. Welcome to Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and all those good things that I'm supposed to call out at the beginning of the video. Uh, I'll, I will let them tack, I, I will let them talk. That guy's like, give me an ax. Oh, dude, you were just trying to glitch everybody out. Are you, are you kidding? No. Ah, uh, he saw us all trying to start and then took, tried to take an opportunity of it. That's okay. Oh, and did he leave? I think he left. Somebody left. Okay, so let's get started. I've already um, started building a couple of wedges down here. Uh, it looks like I still got a bunch to fill in up there. So let's go, let's go fill those in first. I'm going to grab one of these to take with me. And huge, huge shout out to Playful and especially to David. Um, he got me, uh, he, he gave me something for my son. And okay, so great story behind it. I told my son he could go through the Windows Store and look for games and possibly find some that if he wanted for Christmas or for... Um, for birthday, because both of those are coming up soon, he could go ahead and put them on his Christmas list and stuff, right? Well, not five minutes into it, he um, says, Dad, I want this one. I look up and it is Super Lucky Tail, Lucky's Tail, Super Lucky's Tail on um, Xbox One. Well, that is a game by Playful. So I took a picture of him. I'm like, are you sure that's the one you want? This is no prior influence of me saying anything to him. And he goes, yeah, that's the one I want. Are you sure? Okay. So I took a picture of it and I shot it over to David. I'm like, David, I just want to let you know my son, he's going to, like, I'm going to get this for him. But I thought it would be really cool if the developer uh, or one of the ve developers of the game, like, <laughs> gave it to him as, like, a present. So he got it. And I'm going to do a Let's Play series over it. So um, we just took a video of him actually getting it and getting the code. And it was, it's amazing. It's awesome. And um, David also sent through the media package. Like, hey, if you need anything for your um, Let's Play, here's posters, here's images, here's characters. That, like, he hooked it up. And it looks awesome. Like, hold on. I'm... I'm completely fanboying right now. <laughs> oh no. So that is going to be a new series coming up here soon. It's going to be uh, Super Lucky's Tale Let's Play on the Xbox. But I've promised that I cannot play it until my son gets to play it first. So um, we had to wait for it to download. And while it was downloading, it, it was his time for bed, bath, and book. So. <sighs> oh, the life of normal stuff. Why can't every day just be video games all day long? Like, why why must we adult? I don't want to adult. Don't make me adult. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I actually really like my my grown-up job. <laughs> people ask me, what do you do all day long? I'm like, I play with computers. That's what I do. And people pay me for it. It's kind of cool. So... Oh, by the way, um, day 13 of the No Shave November. It's coming in very nicely. I think we should have something very good for the uh, for the end month special. And yes, it will be an end month special. And I'll I'll explain how it works and like why I do it the way I do. But if you if you're just curious and you want to see um, the explanation, you can look up last year's 
Uh, I did the exact same thing last year. And it's really cool the dynamic of what happens. Because unlike a lot of charity things and a lot of um, donations, I don't ask you for money. And you don't have to give money. So if you're sitting there and you're, if you're a little kid and you're like, well, I can't really contribute anything. I can't help. Yes, you can. And all I ask for is time. And it, it's, it, it's cool. But I'll, I'll leave that for the special. And um, for those of you telling me to shave my beard, it will happen. I promise. I will shave it. But it's going to be on camera for you guys for, um, for the No Shave November which is to bring awareness to um, those who have cancer. Uh, more specifically, it's for a specific type of cancer, but that's not why I do it. I do it for children with cancer because I'm a child channel, family friendly. That's why I do it. Um, children who have cancer, they have to go undergo chemical treatments that makes it where they cannot grow their own hair. And... Um, that's why we recognize the No Shave November. And it's, it, you can look up the details of everything and how it got started, but that's why we do it. So um, I think I'm gonna go with the same one that we went with last year, which was the um, Children's, Mir Children's Miracle Network. Was it Children's Miracle Network? I'll have to look it up. But all the donations and proceeds from that video will go towards them. And towards their research because they are the number one leading research in um, children's cancer coming up with treatments and um, care all the time sorry I, I sound like an advertisement what am I doing coach nothing nothing just caring I'm sorry I, I'm sorry that I care <laughs> no I'm not I'm not sorry one bit and I'm glad that I told you guys um, Super excited about the holiday seasons and everything that's coming up. Going to get to eat turkey here real soon. Was it? It's not. Is it next week? I think it's next week. Hold on. If we add 10 days. Hold on. And now I'm curious. Yeah. Is it the 23rd? Next week? It is. Wow. So I'm going to get to eat turkey even sooner than I thought. That snuck up on me. Wow. Anyhow, I've got some vacation time coming up. I think I'm going to take vacation for the holidays. For the holiday. I love how, I love how um, English and British people say holiday. Holiday. Instead of saying, oh, we're going on vacation, they say, are you on holiday? I love it. Let me get this turn just right here. Oh gosh. Of course it's, oh. I just love accents in general. Most accents I like. Russian accents, German accents. By the way, if you have an accent and you are starting your own YouTube, no, 97%. All right, I just need, I just need a sliver of a piece, an itty bitty piece to finish that one out. Um, a lot of you have been asking me to play different games and do different things, and I will, but I want to get this ramp finished. And we are like, I know it looks like progress, like, oh yeah, he's about to make it up there, he's about to build to the top, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've still got a lot more work to do because I need to put rails on the sides of these so people don't fall off. And then uh, once we get up there to the top, I need to put rails across the top of everything too. So I really wish I'd kept that uh, that quad saw that's up there closer so I could uh, just throw these in there and have them go boom, have them go boom. Should, should I do this? Let's do this. Hold on, pick up like this and forward and drop gonna cut this in half I hope it doesn't fall on me please don't fall please don't fall please don't fall thank you move up cut this in half yeah we'll move this in half like that that should give us just a little bit of room of 
we just keep having everything, we should come up with uh, enough, right? Ooh, yeah, perfect. Perfect! <laughs> so, here's one. Here's two. And... Wait, where did that... What? Did I just kick one of them? No, I didn't. It's fine. There we go. Chop that in half. Move this off to the side. Now chop you in half. <laughs> I love the power! It's like the best thing ever. By the way, um, my son has this uh, aromatherapy stuff that we kind of picked up for him. And I, I'm i not a big believer of like aromatherapy, aromatherapies or the smelling salts or any, any of that stuff. But it just smells good. And one that he doesn't like, he's very sensitive to it, was this pine smell. And it's very distinct. It's just this, it smells like a pine wood forest. So, um, kind of to get in the mood of Lumber Tycoon too, I, I put some onto the beard and I, I'm smelling pine right now and I'm feeling very lumberish. <laughs> Is that a word? Lumberish? I'm feeling very woodsman, wood, woodsy. I'm feeling woodsy. There we go. Outdoorsy kind of person. We should go for a stroll in the pine wood. Um, winter biome. All right, hold on. Let's do this over here. And we're good. Wow. These, like... Okay, that's that's probably not enough to get two out of the left side, because I, I went too far over on the right. That's okay. We'll, we'll do that one there, and then we'll just... We'll use up that whole piece right there. Boom. Like that. Good. And then is this just a singular piece all by itself? Probably not going to be able to get two out of it. So I'll just use the one. Boom. Like that. Okay. So that section's good. Um, let's go ahead and keep going here. Go with the one fourth. And good. And good. Good. And good. Beautiful. And it's okay if we make a mistake, because we can always come back and fix that. We don't make mistakes, we make happy little accidents. And the happy little cloud right there. Uh, how far in are we? We are at 13 minutes. We're doing good on time. Very good on time. By the way, if you find yourself saying, I don't have enough time, or I'm out of time, or, well, maybe I'll do that later. Just remember... I'm very restricted on time. As far as the amount of time I get to record, the amount of time that I get with my family, the amount of time that I have at work, everything is like a time game. And as long as you're getting everything done, you can time hack. You can fit extra minutes into the day by doing two things at once. Now, multitasking is... I'm sorry, a myth. Because the brain can only concentrate on one focus at a time. Now you can train your brain to do multiple things at one time, which usually takes muscle memory or it takes a lot of practice at something. But the act of actual multitasking or multi-threading does not exist. I think I think that's it. I think that's to the top. So you can do multiple things at one time. But if you if you want to argue the point, by all means, you are entitled to your opinion. But it's just not true. The human brain can only focus on one process happening at one time, which is also why you have people during chaos situations or during crisis situations, they will lock up because they can only process one thing at a time. Um, now when the brain gets accelerated or when you start thinking um, fight or flight fight or flight yeah then you can turn up the cycles of the brain 
So the human brain has four different cycles, which are alpha, beta, theta, and delta. And I talk about this in my hypnosis stuff. Um, most of the time, humans are in beta stage, which is about 80 cycles per second. I think I think it's 80 cycles per second. And this is your normal everyday state of the brain, where you're walking to school or you're doing something normal, riding your bike. Well, riding your bike's kind of a bad example because most people are in alpha stage when they're riding the bike. Uh, alpha stage is extremely alert. That's about 120 cycles per second. And you can imagine that as being in a um, car, driving a car down a seven lane highway and there's um, traffic, just really heavy traffic. You're in the far left hand lane, you need to get over to the right hand lane in about 120 feet. You're extremely alert. You're signaling, you're gripping the steering wheel, you're looking around, that is extremely alert. And then beta, th and beta stage would be less than that, that would be driving down two lane highway, listening to the radio, looking at the scenery, just, you're still driving. I mean, you're still concentrating, but you can have a conversation with the person that's in the car and stuff like that. And then there's theta stage and delta stage, but I'm not gonna get into those because this is not hypnosis code. What are you talking about hypnosis? What, weirdo. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the human brain and the psychology and the cycles, but we'll get into that later. Well, actually probably won't ever get into it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, coffee helps me come down from alpha to beta stage. <clears throat> and whoa, 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 buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, did you drop it? He dropped it. Oh, I think. Where did it go? <laughs> Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Whenever I first popped in the server, he's like, I'm a YouTuber too. I'm a YouTuber. I'm like, what's up, dude? <laughs> How you doing? He goes, can I record? Yeah, go for it. And then he starts talking in the chat. Hey, everyone, look who I found. It's code. I love it when you guys fan. I love it when anybody fans. I just, I, I don't know. I like it when you guys fan. I like it when people fan. I like the attention. But... Uh, I'm also ADHD, so kind of goes with the territory of wanting attention. Boop. There we go. And choppy chop chop. Oh, this is taking a while, but I think we're we're right on time for um, schedule because. If I continue at this rate, I should have it done by Thanksgiving, which should be time for whatever specials are coming out at the time. I may have to build up a uh, turkey dinner, and we'll have to take a season's greetings picture with a uh, whole bunch of fans. Maybe. Maybe. Don't know yet. Don't know what we're doing. In fact, most nights, um, I don't really plan anything out. Oh, um, okay, so tonight was supposed to be Trolliverse, and you guys were supposed to see the Trolliverse series, but if you go and look, Dig Dug and Ari are releasing today, um, tomorrow. My tomorrow, your today. So, um, if you guys don't watch, then you won't know what happened before our Trolliverse, which will release tomorrow. Along with something else, something special. Um, hope you guys are ready. I hope it goes through. If it doesn't go through, then this is going to be a moot point. Like, it's it's not true. But I have plans to record with somebody. And we are going to go do some glitches that we know about. And yes, the owner of the game knows about the glitches. That's why he told me, uh, hey, make sure that you... Get them done, because I'm going to be fixing them real soon. I said, okay. So. It's it's just really cool how everything's happening. 
and I don't know if I'm just easier to get along with or if I have like a, a personality that people trust, but there are a lot of people in the um, Roblox community and in the YouTube community that whenever I talk to them, it's just, I love talking to them and I love telling people that I've talked to them. Um, I'm kind of a, like, okay, I wouldn't say this if it wasn't true, but I really do like having the fact that I can talk to people that um, make the games. And it's not not just Defaultio, not just Lumber Tycoon 2. I'm talking about Sim Builder. I'm talking about New Fissy. I'm talking about, um, oh gosh, just the the ability to talk to people, to talk to them. And you guys can too. All you have to do is like tweet at them and tell them that you're a fan and... <sighs> now it does help that I am a YouTuber, but I, I don't know if they're just using me for the publicity or whatnot. And I don't want to think like that. Like I don't ever want to think that somebody's just using me for the publicity. And I don't ever want them to think that I'm using them for the publicity. I just, growing up, I had the same kind of like thoughts and ideas about people that I saw on TV. Like, wow, they get to go to these big fancy parties and they get to go to these awesome things. Well, reality set in. I don't get to go to big fancy parties. I don't get to go to conventions. I have a wife and I have kids and I have family and I have a job. So there's a lot of things that I don't get to go and do. Um, I plan on doing more, but my kids are still little, and we'll eventually get there. Like, I will eventually be able to go to conventions and signings and meetups. But for now, I'm, I really am. I'm just enjoying what I'm doing. Ooh. Um, Sean, I'm a flying midget, posted something today that really was deep and it was what do you want out of YouTube not what's happening now but by the end of your YouTube career what do you want out of it what do you expect to get out of it and I responded with the truth um, I'm already there like my end all be all was 500 subscribers and to have a channel where my kids could go and whoa Hello. Whoa. Where my kids could go and watch videos without curses, without cusses, a safe place for them on the internet. I've accomplished that. So if my YouTube career ends today, know that I'm satisfied. I am happy with where it is, what it's done. And I'm happy with you guys because you are fans. You aren't just a whole bunch of people that came in and hit the subscribe button and then never watched anything. You are dedicated to coming in, leaving comments, liking and subscribing and doing like those things that a community of fans does. And I see a lot of YouTube channels out there. That, let me rephrase that. I see a lot of the um, ones that are like thousand dollar or thousand Roblox giveaways every day and they don't actually give away Roblox and it's the, the scams and the things like that. And yeah, their subscribers are way up there, but the view counts are just down, just low. Get, 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 get low. So am I, I am right on par. Code, how many wires do you need to sign my base? Three, one, two, three. <laughs> oh, I hope we got that. <laughs> Star guy! It's Star guy, everyone! Woo! Okay, so we are at platform three. What time? Are... I've still got six minutes. We've got six minutes to build. Let's see. Six minutes to win it. Let's go to floors. We're going to go to large floors. Let's do this. I can't see. I can't see boo. <laughs> One. Hold on. Oh gosh. Come on. Come on. Why are you not going on there? Get on there, dude. Two. There we are. 
And I should be able to come out six. One, two, three. Oh gosh. Four. Five. Six should be the last one. Awesome. six okay and then we got to come out this direction three four five six seven eight nine and last one last one come on That should be, that might have been too far. Maybe that was too far. <laughs> I'll have to look later. All right, let's start filling these in. And here we go. So I hope you guys don't mind that I'm, I'm not really doing too many tutorials. I'm not really doing too many walkthroughs at the moment. I really am just trying to get this access bridge done. And then <clears throat> what I will do is as I'm doing tutorials down in my laboratory or as I'm doing the electronics and the different blueprints um, I will lower my gold bridge and allow people to go on the gold bridge while I'm doing the tutorials uh, and I'll leave it up to the server whoever whoever decides like if you guys decide to do palms I'll lower it for palms if you want to do um, gold then I'll lower it for the gold go for gold anyhow that's what we'll do and a lot more tutorials and a lot more lumber coming at you um, I do warn you though, once Projute comes out, I might switch. Not gonna lie. I love Lumber, and I will continue Lumber, but um, looking at his new game, ooh, it is, uh, from, from my understanding, it is strongly based around Link Windwalker. Is it, is it Windwalker? Something like that? And just looking at it it's true it looks amazing so we'll keep you uh keep you informed as things happen um he did say that he was going to try and get it released during like more towards the end of the year uh, i don't know if that means christmas time frame or not but he is working so um a lot of people have been asking me once once the next update don't know. I don't even know if he's working on an update for uh, Lumber because he is truly hard at work at his um, new game to try and get it what? 124% destroy it. We can't have that large floor and no it does not turn gray anymore come on there we go it's okay. We only wasted one unit of wood so it's fine. If you have the power and you're using just single pieces of wood to, to fill things in, just delete it if it goes over 127% or 100%, 127%, what? All right, here we go. I did that wrong on both ends, darn it. Okay, let's chop right in the middle. We set both of those chop marks. We're at 29 minutes. We're getting so close, so close, uh-oh. Let's go right here. And that should be enough for all four. One, two, and chop this right in the middle. Here we are. Three, and four. Yay, I've done it, kiddos. We have finally made it to the 30 minute mark. <laughs> Dude, thank you for wanting to help, but you are totally not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> He's like, look, I'm helping. I'm helping code. <laughs> Much love, dude. Much love. 
I know you're just wanting to help. All right, let's stand. Let's stand right here. Let's stand right here. All right, here we go. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as we're finishing out the public access gold ramp, hopefully to be soon, soon completed. And then once that's done, you guys are going to have something to do while I'm sitting there explaining wires and electronics and things. So um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out all the links down below. If you'd like one of these t-shirts, not these t-shirts, but if you'd like one of those t-shirts with my face on it and just like my avatar, check out the Hello Juniper link in the description down below. If you'd like to send um, a, like an actual mail, fan mail, then I have a P.O. box on the about screen of my channel. If you'd like one of the Rookery, Rookery, if you'd like one of the Rookie axes from Lumber Tycoon 2, you can check out the Sturdy Guns link down in the description below. I think that's it. Those are those are all the callouts, right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.